Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly of lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, jewelry, books, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell. I have a goal of getting to 500 subscribers by May 1st, which is a pretty lofty goal, but I believe that we can do it. And thank you again so much for those of you who have reached out, offering me some well wishes. I've been feeling a little bit under the weather with some nausea ever since I got back from my vacation. It is definitely getting much, much better, but I do sort of have to watch myself and how much energy I exert on a given day, but I have been able to go back to work. So again, thank you so much for your support. Today I've got Brownstone in Maine. So Brownstone in Maine I've opened on this channel once before. It's a fun bi-monthly lifestyle subscription, and they support and feature small businesses and largely women-owned businesses. It is $44.99 per box, but obviously if you subscribe for a little bit longer than one box, or if you hit one of their great sales which is what I was able to do you can bring that price down and that's how I was able to keep it within my personal budget I do try to keep my subscriptions between 30 and 40 dollars per month if not a lot less because obviously it costs a lot to have so many boxes coming to my door it's a joy to have the experience of opening them but I am trying to watch my budget just a little bit all right so this time my brownstone and main came in a simple white box it's a little bit smaller than the first one that I received and I actually appreciate that that they really try not to overdo it on the packaging and just get the box that's going to fit. So while I do love a beautiful package that's branded and everything, I appreciate what they're doing. I'm not showing you the top of it just because it's got the shipping label on it. So I did already cut the tape so that we can open it up and see inside. And this is just a nice size box that you could use for storage and stuff. So this is one of the few that I might actually hold on to. Inside they just tell you a little bit more about that choice which is saying at Brownstone in Maine we take pride in taking care of our planet that is why all the materials in this box are recycled please keep the cycle going and recycle this box all right and then inside we've just got a little tissue paper and then a um, sticker that says check shop small business small business check supported a dream thank you so much with a little heart so uh, it is probably another Valentine's themed box so I'm taping this before Valentine's Day but you probably won't see it until a little bit after and then inside we've just got this nice little pamphlet that they've printed up and then inside of course they have a little feature all of the different artisans or business owners and the theme of this February box is be my Galentine so of course that makes sense we named our our February box be my Galentine to celebrate our love for our best girlfriends and in our case the women we partner with every box your be my Galentine box consists of five products from five different fierce female entrepreneurs that are a true representation of a Main Street America and that's kind of where they get the box name brownstone and main so I did see a couple of spoilers, um, but I don't remember all of them right now. And then of course on the back, they've got their social media information. Speaking of social media, if you're not already following me on Instagram, definitely check that out. It is Maui underscore Noel. I usually do some flat lays, but I also often do like kind of a close up picture of some of my favorite items. So that's a good way of knowing also when I am posting, if you don't already hit the notification bell here, if you happen to be on Instagram more often, check it out over there. And then you'll know when I'm posting new videos, which for the most part is every other day. Sometimes I have a few extra boxes that can I do every every single day, but a lot of times it's every other day. So the first thing I am seeing, it's funny how every time I open a box, if there is chocolate, that's the first thing I see or the first thing that I pull out. It's like my hands just know to get to it. So this is Escania and it says milk chocolate um, paradis. So it's got a beautiful bird of paradise. Uh, image on the front and then some kind of swirlies that are getting a little washed out there. It does say that I need to eat it by January 1st, 2021. I have no doubt that this will get consumed much sooner than that and it does say that it is 47% cacao. So I am a dark chocolate girl but I mean I don't discriminate. I'm happy to have any kind of chocolate and I know that probably this milk chocolate is probably going to be more of a pleaser amongst all of the subscribers. It says introducing Corinne from Ascania Chocolates. Corinne is the CEO and founder of Ascania Chocolates based out of Haiti. That's why it's probably in French. After a long stint in the US for her education, Corinne was motivated to create jobs in her home country of Haiti and that's when she co-founded Ascania Chocolates. In addition to her business, she is committed to mentoring high school students in Haiti to develop relevant skills to succeed in college and developing Haiti's next great entrepreneurs. So that is super cool. The retail value and 
I love when subscription boxes include the retail value just so that you know, not that you're getting a huge deal, even though a huge deal is great, but you know you're getting the value of your box. Um, and also it gives you a good idea if you do want to continue to support certain businesses, if it's something that you can do that. Um, it is $8, so that is a very expensive bar of chocolate. I, of course, love that there's a good cause, but this is just kind of more of an indulgent treat for me because I would probably never spend $8 on a bar of chocolate, but I'm certainly happy to try one out. All right, let's keep going. So they do have some little hot pink foozles in there, but not too much. Doesn't look like there's anything really breakable in here. The next thing that I am seeing, which is sealed, it says uh, Fennec Natural Skin Care. And let's see what this is. It says Coconut Rose Face Mask. I'll just show you the little label here. Maybe get that to focus. And let's see what it says about Fennec. It says, introducing Alexandra and Sophia from Fennec Natural Skin Care. Alexandra and Sophia are the owners of Fennec Natural Skin Care based out of Worcester, Massachusetts. They're college friends turned business partners. They started Fennec because they wanted to see people embracing the abundant skin healing resources available in nature. So every natural ingredient has a purpose and benefit in creating beautiful and healthy skin. Fennec's products are perfect for everyday use. So this is a coconut rose dry face mask retail value $27 and this is pretty small it's just two ounces $27 for two ounces this face mask is perfect to snuggle up on a couch with your BFF and watch a movie in it'll exfoliate and detoxify your skin and leave your skin feeling refreshed so I'm just getting into skincare as a result of getting into subscription boxes you guys I try and um, you use those face sheet masks as often as I can but it still only winds up being like maybe once a week I usually don't like the face masks that come in jars like this where you have to apply it and I know there's a nice sense of ritual in doing that like putting it in a bowl and mixing it up and then using a brush and uh, all of the soothing uh, experience that you can get from applying a face mask in that way but for me it just seems a little bit like tedious and um, not something that I would necessarily do a lot although my husband pointed out the other day because when I am doing a face mask you know and I have that like scary look he's like well I can't really do any of those with you because he has a beard and mustache so I was like well these would probably work because I could just put it like you know on his cheeks and under his eyes and on his forehead if he really wants to like be my galentine and participate in that um, I'm not going to open this up and smell it just because they are a natural skincare line so I know that you want to keep it nice and fresh but also just because I might wind up passing this on in a future giveaway or to one of my girlfriends who I know is a little bit better about using face masks so we'll put that off to the side then the next thing I am seeing is a scrunchie and it kind of looks like a little bunny rabbit so it's in this really really kind of pretty like maybe a dusty rose but honestly it almost has more of a lavender quality to it maybe like a taupe quality taupe was like the color of my bridesmaids dresses so I love taupe it was always really you know, like hard to explain what taupe is it's like kind of like grayish but um, a little bit like you know a little bit deeper more more on the gray side than the brown side I don't know all right, so let's see what it says about this, trying to find it. Introducing Emily from Emily Huffco. Emily is the founder and owner of Emily Huffco. She graduated from Savannah College of Art and Design and worked in New York City. Prior to opening her business in NYC, she found her passion passion for reusing and upcycling unwanted clothing fabric and leather pieces to create beautiful handmade accessories for everyday use and this is a modern day scrunchie scrunchies are definitely back you guys and you not even if you are a visco girl you everybody's using scrunchies again dress up or dress down the scrunchie with any of your favorite outfits it'll definitely be a statement piece with any outfit so this says that this is worth eight dollars again that seems a little bit high for a scrunchie it is a really nice soft material um and i do like that it's got this little like embellishment that where it looks like a hair tie I don't use a lot of scrunchies in my hair I can't really pull off like I said that visco girl look with like the super high messy bun it just looks messy on me um, I did notice because I did look her up after I saw the uh, spoiler um, I looked at her Instagram she actually has those really cute headbands where it like looks little retro and it has this same sort of like tie effect and I kind of wish we had gotten one of those instead of a scrunchie but sure I'll hold it on it's got a lot of elasticity elasticity to it and it is a nice neutral color so it, it is more like a, a like a grayish or a taupe color than a pink or a purple even if that's how it's reading on camera um 
I just think if I put my hair up in a ponytail, then like the tie might like wind up being like askew. Um, I could see it like somebody using it for a big like messy bun at the top though, and that being cute, but it's not really like my style. So, uh, and again, $8 seems like a little bit much, but again, I love supporting a small business, so that's cool. Um, somebody I know will be able to use it. The next thing I'm seeing looks like this like little muslin bag, and this is, I think, the item that I was excited about also that I saw in the spoilers, and she's actually on the front. This this is some really fun tassel earrings. I'm a little bummed that I got this color. I wonder if there were other colors available. So this is Heather from Mermaids and Madelines. Heather is the owner of Mermaids and Madelines based out of Massachusetts. She always loved creating art for others and she believes any day by the ocean is time well spent. Her jewelry line is inspired by the ever-changing color and light of the coast. Each piece features sterling silver, precious and semi-precious gems and is designed to keep up with the girl on the go. Since the elements and the jewelry are naturally occurring every piece is a little bit different she also donates five percent of each purchase to aid in sea life rescue and rehab efforts so absolutely love that so let me show you these so they are a very vibrant fuchsia color and then maybe i can get close enough where you can actually um see the like detail of the little stones there at the top Hopefully you can see that. Silk and semi-precious stone tassel earrings. These tassel earrings are the perfect addition to any outfit. They will certainly add a little color to your wardrobe this winter season. And it does say that these are worth $32, which that seems a little bit high again for me. Um, but I could see myself like maybe looking at these at a craft fair. Um, it's maybe, probably, most likely <laughs> the pink color that's throwing me off a lot because I'm not really a pink girl. Um, but I do like the little crystals at the top. I feel like the tassel earring thing is starting to slowly fade out of style. It was really big, I feel like maybe two years ago. You still see a lot of tassel earrings. Um, I would probably wear these more if they were a more neutral color. If you haven't already seen my um, Rocks box opening, I got some fun hoop tassel earrings but they are like in a crew color so they're a little bit more usable something that I would reach for more um, but let me know what you think and um, these definitely read well just because they are very very bright pink but I would be have to be wearing like a really neutral outfit with them because I never wear anything that's got this intense of a pink color um, but it is really pretty like a very shiny thread the tassels they're very soft it's a good length um, they definitely pop but let me know what you guys think. If any of you got these in a different color, let me know if you want to trade. Hot pink's like your favorite thing. I get that they did it for Valentine's Day, but again, I would have liked maybe a blue color or just something a little bit more neutral, um, like a green or a blue. Something maybe a little more muted than these super bright pinks, but they're kind of fun. So, um, All right, let's see what else we've got. Uh, I think that was... How many items was that? So we had the chocolate, we had the face mask, we got the little bunny scrunchie, and then these tassel earrings. I think that means there's one more thing. So let me see what that is. It came in a toilet paper roll. No, I'm kidding. It's not a toilet paper roll, but it is just wrapped up in some cardboard. Let's see. Of course, I don't have my scissors like at the ready. Ooh, sorry about that, you guys. All right, uh, if you haven't been watching my YouTube videos from the beginning, one of my things is I love the sounds of unpacking, so it's a little ASMR, but I also um, try not to edit my videos. So I actually don't edit my videos. That's why you see me sometimes sort of fumble over my words, but I don't take time afterwards to edit because it's a practice in me not having to be such a perfectionist. So that's like one of those moments that I'm gonna be like super self-conscious about when I rewatch the video, but I'm not gonna go back and retape it. So this is a flour mill botanical enriched vitamin C serum, and it just comes in this little simple dropper. So I do love this, it's all small businesses. While I appreciate beautiful packaging, I also appreciate simple packaging. So this is super easy. I'm, like I said, just getting into some face care. So it's taking me a while. I'm still using a lovely face oil that I got from my first cause box, um, but I have started using both that and a moisturizer. Let's see what it says about this serum, that it is the big ticket item of the box. It says that it has a retail value of $75. So that is pretty high. It says, this is Michelle from Flower Mill Beauty. Michelle is the owner of Flower Mill Beauty. She is originally from Puerto Rico, um, but has 
spent the majority of her life in Texas where she met her now husband and where they live with their 18 month old daughter. She started her company because she was frustrated with the lack of natural beauty products. That sounds familiar from, like, from the girls from Fennec. Um, and wanted to teach people that nature provides so many things that our skin needs. What's included in your Galentine's box is the vitamin C serum. This vitamin C serum is Flower Mill Beauty's top selling item for a reason. It works wonders, apply morning and night for best results. So I feel like anytime you put the word serum in something it gets to be more expensive um, but again it just says apply a small amount to face and neck each morning and before bed massage gently onto skin so I am really enjoying the face oil it's just I don't know how I'm ever gonna like get to use everything up so let me show you guys it's a little bit thicker than like my face oil I think but let me put some on my hand and we'll see what it smells like hopefully nice and citrusy so putting it in my hand here um, a little bit greasy like so a little drop is probably gonna take care of your whole face you're not gonna need more than that so this is gonna last a really really long time how many ounces it's one fluid ounce so it's got like almost an earthy like sandalwood scent to it it definitely has some citrus um, but it definitely has a little bit of an earthy thing going as well. Let me see what the ingredients are. Coconut oil, safflower oil, sunflower oil, grapeseed oil, essential oil blend of, here we go, lavender, grapefruit, lemon, tangerine, rosehip, neroli, they have it spelled neroil, geranium, bergamot, cypress, rosemary, lime, rose, nettle leaf, jasmine, and chamomile. So I'm not sure where I'm getting that sandalwood from, but it is definitely a lovely blend. It's not too floral. It's not too like spicy. It's not too citrusy. I would be fine, I think, putting that on my face and neck. But the scent is definitely lingering. Um, so sometimes I think they go a little overboard with the essential oils. Um, it is a little bit greasier still than the one that I'm currently using. So again, maybe I just applied a little bit too much to one area. But I'm happy to have that. So I'm wondering what our total like value was. So it looks like that would be 40 plus another... You guys, I'm so bad at math. So that's 120. Uh, then we got another 150, 158. Okay, so I got like a value of like over $150, probably a close to like 160 for a $50 box or a $45 box. So that seems pretty reasonable. I'm most excited about the super expensive chocolate and um, probably this serum, even though it might be a little while until I get to dive into it. The scrunchies, okay. The earrings, I think I would like a lot better if they were just a different color. And then the face mask, like I said, I'm not really into the face masks that you have to apply with a brush. Sheet masks are just so much easier, but I'm not opposed to giving it a shot. Let me know what you think the your favorite item was, maybe what you think about the value of this box. And if you did like this video, I hope you'll consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Have a fantastic day, you guys. I'll see you very soon in my next unboxing.